Yep. Hey. Yup. I'm really so pro right now. I'm really so pro right now. Hey everyone. Welcome to the fourth Poker Stories episode, a new video series of mine. Here's what we have in common. We all love Pokemon, but what's interesting is that each of us likes it for our own reasons. Some love it for the collection, some for the game, but there are others who found a reason beyond that. The purpose of this video series is to hear you out, those people who love Pokemon more than just the card itself, share your own story and let the world know who you are and how Pokemon has shaped your life. So in this episode, we got a letter from Cheyenne Rawson. Um, she says here, careful. When cutting or opening, you may cut the letters or card inside. Ooh, so maybe there's some cards inside. I'm just gonna open it by hand so I don't cut anything by accident. But here we go. Let's see what we got here. I'm on my pool table at home. Just chilling out for a few days before I return back to the city. So I see a lined paper. Ooh, and some cards that I'll show at the end. But here we have our stars. Hold it up nicely and loose these papers. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start reading it. Let's see what we got here. Dear So Pro, uh, So Broke, my Pokemon story starts when I was right, when I was four years old. I can't remember exactly how I got started with Pokemon, but I remember it had to do with the start of Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I remember that I was. Um, seeing Pokemon cards in stores and my friend was into them, so eventually she got me into them too. After then I was really into them, but I did not know much about the rarity of them, so I would get level X cards and think they were just the same as every other card, just really sparkly. Um, eventually I got into playing the games for a while, instead of the cards, when I was 9 years old, I started getting for a while, but ended when my brother gave around 600 of my cards, including EX and Full Arts, to his friends. I got really mad and then gave up for now, uh, for about 4 years. Then this past Christmas, my new best friend, since I moved in when I was nine, um, bought me Pokemon cards, and since then people on YouTube such as you, so bro, Primetime Pokemon, Greeting Gengar, and so forth, have encouraged me to start collecting even more. I am almost 13 years old now, and I am back and staying with Pokemon cards. <laughs> my brother is a little older now, so he knows that... So he knows now that it is not that nice to give away 600 of your sister's Pokemon cards to where all my level X cards went. Well, that is a mystery. I believe I lost them somewhere between me and moving. The only problem with me in collecting uh, so late in the TCG is that I cannot find any of the old, um, I want to say, old generation packs. So I'm unable to collect sets before black and white sets. Now we are already into the second set of X and Y. So. I thought I would send you a few things. You can send, you can see them inside this letter. They are all from Flashfire and a little something extra, so you will, that you'll see in soon enough. From Cheyenne Ralston, um, she puts her YouTube channel URL there and she says thanks. Well, Cheyenne, firstly, <laughs> I'm sorry that your brother gave away 600 of your cards, but at least he probably made some other kids out of school happy, right? <sighs> um, and when I understand, when I was a kid. I didn't quite understand the rarity of my cards either. Uh, my older cousin one time, I remember, forced me to trade my hollow base set Zapdos um, for his non-hollow Zapdos from Fossil. Um, if you don't know those cards, there's a pretty big difference in their value, and the Fossil Zapdos wasn't even hollow, it's just a non-hollow rare. So I, you know, <laughs> I didn't really know the difference, I thought it was all the same card. Um, but I also want to say that I'm glad you're back in collecting, and that I could play a role in it. And now that you're collecting more than ever, it only makes me happy. But anyway, I wanted to show some of the cards that you gave out, including these two online codes um, for the viewers. I'm gonna go ahead and show them. Enjoy these codes. These are to flash fire, by the way. All right. Um, as for the cards that you gave, let's take a look. We got a Buizel, Hilioptile, Shinx. Flabebe, Sandile, Sligoo, Trick Shovel, Lysander, and another Sligoo with your um, <laughs> with your own personal touch. You can see she added some O's on top, making it gooey, even more gooey than it is. Got some awesome shades, nice drawing by the way. Gooby Chomp for 100 damage, that is a great move, I wish I could do that. 
and gentle slap and you uh, put your autograph down there or your name and that is pretty awesome so thank you for taking a little time to decorate this card a little bit i wonder why you chose slagoo though it's an interesting pokemon <laughs> Um, and you also gave me one ooh, special card, open this after the letter, with an awesome Genesect um, sleeve. That is beautiful. From Plasma Blast. Let's go ahead and see, what's, see what it is. And it is a, wow, Master Ball A-Spec Trainer. That is awesome. Search your deck for Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. And I've had, I've seen Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, but I've never seen Master Ball, so that is really awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so I just wanted to thank you, Cheyenne Rawson, for sending me this letter and sending me some co online code cards as well as some free cards by mail. That is awesome. Including the Sligoo with your um, with your personal touch is my favorite out of all of them. Um, but for all those out there who have their own have your own story, feel free to ask me for my address. Uh, message me via YouTube messages and send in your own story. Let the world hear what you have to say. Um, once again, thank you Cheyenne Ross and your information will be put down in the description of the video. You guys should go ahead and check out our channel, um, but that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time.